video, we are going to set up the customer thermometer. There are three steps to start using the service thermometer. And the first one is to add it to the notification templates so your customers get it in their emails. The second step is to add uh, or to display the results within the ticket. And in the last steps, we will, go, uh, we will make the results visible within the ticket grid. So let's get started. First, let's start with the notification templates. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner, and we're going to go to admin and select notification templates right here. When we click on notification templates, we will get to see all notification templates and we will go to service desk right here at the top. From within the service desk, we want to send the service thermometer whenever a ticket closes or is completed. So we have a uh, template right here called customer facing ticket completed. So we will use that one and we're going to edit it by clicking on this pencil right here. So when we click on the pencil, a new, um, new screen is uh, open. So you will see it right now. Okay, so in the screen, what we're going to do is we want to add a little bit of text at the bottom of our email. So you might want to, uh, you might be curious how it looks. So um, let's show you a little bit. So here is an example of how, uh, how the thermometer looks. So you have three smileys. One is bad, one is okay, and one is good. And you can ask a question within it. So you can sort them either from bad to good or from good to bad. In our experience, the good to bad works a little bit better. So we will do it like that. So um, at the bottom of our screen, what we're going to do is we're going to add two things. One is the text, how happy are you with our service? So um, I want it in bold. And so I, I will click on this B right here. And I will just start typing. How happy are you with our service? And underneath, I will uh, want to show the 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 smileys. So how you can do that or how you can add them is you can go here to the variable list. And what we want to show is uh, the smileys are a ticket variable. So we're going to sort it by show ticket variables right here. And in the ticket variables, we will scroll all the way down to ticket service thermometer link. Let's see where it's at here right here at the bottom we have ser service thermometer link or service thermometer link good to bad and as, as i've said already good to bad works a little bit better in our experience so we're going to add that by double clicking on it and as you can see it's the variable is now added within our mail so that's good and um, we are done with with customizing this email because the rest of the emails were already uh, or the rest of the template was already okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click save and close right here at the top and we're going to go back to our audit task so in our audit task what we're going to do next is we're going to display the results within the tickets how we're going to do that is we're going to go back, back to admin by clicking on this arrow right here. And we're now in the admin settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to collapse the application wide shared features right here. And we're going to expand the service desk tickets right here and go to ticket categories. So you might want to do this for every category. Uh, this is a applicable to but right now we're uh, we're only going to show you this once and you can just add it to the other categories as needed so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the correct category 
to the hamburger menu right here on the left hand side and we're going to click on edit right here and as you can see we've now been we're now in the edit screen so what we want to do is we're going to go to the inside screen right here at the top the tab and click on it and in this tab we want to make the uh, results of the customer thermometer visible as you can see there are two tabs here are two um, uh, sites the visible insights and the hidden insights and what we want to do is we want to make sure the customer thermometer uh, results are dragged right here into the visible insights so we're going to go here to the bottom and as you can see the surface thermometer right here um, is at the at the bottom so we're going to drag it by clicking on the dots right at the left hand side of the, of the screen and we're going to drag it all the way to the top and we're going to insert it right here and uh, as you can see I'm going to move it above item 1.4 and as you can see it's now here in the visible inside so we can just click on save and close and it'll be become visible whenever the customer thermometer is filled in by the contact and how the customer thermometer inside looks like is it looks like this so as you can see there is a current rating displayed and a previous rating displayed and the, therm the temperature is displayed underneath so that's the um, the service thermometer uh, display and as you can see we've just added it to our ticket categories and the last step is to make the information also visible in our ticket grids so we have multiple ways to go to ticket grids but one of the easiest ones is to just go to the to the uh, hamburger menu in the top left corner and click on service desk right here and as you can see we have a ticket grid right here and what we want to display is we want to display the um, the, the columns for the customer thermometer so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this icon right here which is the column cho chooser and we are going to display the service thermometer grids or columns there are a few columns we can add so let's scroll through this list and let's see which ones we can add uh, let's see we have the current service thermometer rating right here so I'm going to double click on it to add it to the selected columns and I think we also have one at the bottom we have the previous service thermometer rating so I will double click on that one and we have the service thermometer temperature so I will click on that one so those are the three columns we can add and when I click on save and close as you can see they're added right here at the back if you want to um, uh, put them a little bit more at the front what we can do is we can go back to the column chooser by clicking this icon right here select those three columns and just move them with this arrow right here to make them to make them go up or uh, change in priority so we might want to um, uh, add them after the company so let's click on save and close and as you can see those three columns are here right now it's in the middle and we can just see the, the ratings really, really fast. 